Once a week, you should be eating Indian food. It's better than Viagra? I would say so. I mean, in, in India, you, there's 1.3 billion people. You don't need Viagra there. So no way you can say that curry doesn't work with procreating. Oh. It totally does, especially on the Valentine's Day. Curry is the secret. Curry is the secret. Okay. One of my favorite things to do is to make lamb popsicles. You know why? Why? Because you can marinate them, you can grill them, you don't have to mess with them. You can go open up a bottle of wine, chill out, get in the mood, relax, and make sure that you have all the pieces in place for a romantic meal. I've got some marinated lamb, a nice bony lamb. And when we talk about a marinade, it's not actually a liquid, it's dry spices? Correct. So yeah. it's a, is that not so, a rub? Uh, well, it's... <laughs> Am I, just, am I schooling Vicar Sid right now? No. It's called the spice encrusting. You throw them in the grill, you relax, you let them rest, get their juices flowing. You should make this beautiful yellow lamb popsicle curry. Everything that'll clog your out arteries is in that sauce. So this isn't good for you. This is really good for you <laughs> because Why? You want, you're going to need mouth to mouth. Yeah. And if you need mouth to mouth, the best person to give that to you is the person you're with. So, you take the sauce, yes. pour it lightly and gently into a nice puff plate, pick up that bone yeah. and eat it. Because there's nothing better than if she has a little sauce that's dripping that you go like this afterwards. Oh! But the best way to enjoy the Indian food yeah. is go like this. Why? Why? Stick my finger in there? Because you don't make love with a knife and fork. That would hurt. Unless it's a kinky day for you. Have you no. made love with a knife and fork before? It hurts. <laughs> Speaking from experience? So. Uh, yeah. Yes. So using your hands is better? Using your hands is better yeah. because you can taste the volume, the voluptuousness, the flavors, the taste. You can go like this. Music yeah. is the food of love. And love of food is love of life. Which means if you love food, you love life. And if you love life, you're just a happy camper. How come that doesn't make any sense? When you're drinking wine, yes. you can ask what you want to be done. And when you eat, you can ask how you like to be eaten. Let me eat. <laughs> what are, which spice is the most effective as an aphrodisiac? For, for Indian cooking, turmeric is a beautiful glowing spice. When Indian women get married, they used to put turmeric on the face to give them a glow. Now you said for women, turmeric gives you a good glow. For men, what's a good spice for men? <clears throat> Making a nice cup of chai with fennel and cardamom yeah. or some form of licorice flavors will definitely improve your sex life. It is the Vikram Vij Viagra. V, V, V. As an eternally single man, <laughs> what can I do to use cooking and wine and spices to get a brother laid? So I think what we should do is yeah. you should uh, <clears throat> invite me over. Okay. So I'll do the cooking. Yes. I'll do all the tasting and trying and get laid. Yeah. And then, oh. and then you can do whatever you want to do. So you say I uh, get seconds? No, no, I didn't say seconds. No. Just want to make sure that my brother has the best time ever. Let's, uh, let's talk about Rangoli right now. Yes. So this is a new location. Not even really, you just move next door into the old Vijay's location. Right. Tell me about that. So I um, wanted to do something different on South Granville. I love the location. I love the people that come here. So I didn't want to give it up. We decided to move that Rangoli to here to make it into a fun, casual kind of a place. Yeah. It's going to be open till 2 o'clock for sure every night. Food will be served from 10 to 12 at night. Yeah. Uh, you can come in, some great cocktails. What's going to be different about the menu here? Well, first of all, we're doing a samosa flight. People have chicken wing nights. Yeah. We are Indians, we want to call it a samosa flight night. Late night, obviously very unique cocktails, unique funky places. You can come and sit at the bar and sit down and relax. So you'll be actually be able to sit down here and interact with your bartenders and talk and actually have a conversation and order your food here and actually eat out of here. And I think the most important part is going to be that people should not forget that the essence of Vidyas has always been about humility, humbleness, and great, great simple food.